Yes, hello viewers. In our previous session, we were looking at some simple business calculation numbers. We want to continue. There's another number that we want to focus on today. Uh, we give given information and I'm going to just read it for you so that we, we move together. It says we have sales, given sales 1 million five hundred thousand, average stock 120,000, returning watts 75,000, rate of, rate of stock turn 6 times, uh, expenses 90,000, purchases 600,000, return outwards 45,000. And we asked Roman 1 to calculate turnover. Remember, turnover is the same as net sales. So, how do you get net sales? So, we shall have Roman 1 is turnover. So, Roman 1, calculate turnover. Turnover is equal to sales minus what? Return in words. Return in words. So you check through the information whether you have those two uh, items. So we have sales, we also have return inwards according to the question. Sales is 1 million 500,000, so you can substitute in 1 million 500,000. 1 million 500,000 minus return inwards is, uh, is 75. That's the return in one. So you can sub, subtract and get the final answer. Let's try it out. We have 1.5 minus 75. Yes, 75. That is a 5. 9 minus 7. That is 2. This is 4. 1. So you have 142,000. So 1 million 425,000 shillings. That is the turnover. That is the turnover. That was Roman 1. Imagine this was carrying 4 marks. So maybe they could give a mark for the formula, mark for this, and 2 marks for the final answer. Roman 2, they are asking for net, net purchases. Net purchases. Net purchases, when you look at the trading account, net purchases is good by adding purchases plus carrying inwards minus carry minus returning uh, return outwards. In this question, you don't have carrying inwards, but you have return outwards. So you shall have purchases minus return outwards as the formula, the suitable formula for net purchases. So we have purchases. Minus return outwards. What it says minus return outwards. So you can substitute it. Uh, our purchases was 600,000, which was given 600,000 minus return outwards, which is 45,000. 45,000. This is 5. 45,000. Remember, return outwards indicates the value of goods which were sold or which were bought by a retailer but later returned back to the supplier. But return inwards indicates the value of goods which were bought maybe by a final consumer but later returned back to the retailer. So these are returns, they are fake purchases. So you can subtract, so you have 600,000 minus 45. So this is a 5, 9 minus 4, that is 5, and then 5. So you have 555,000. 555,000 shillings. That is our net, net purchases. Roman 3. Is cost of sales. Cost of sales is somehow tricky because you don't have, you don't have to find in stock in the question, but you have average stock. Remember, our cost of sales 
the one cost of, of sales. But the fundamental uh, the prime formula is opening stock plus net purchases minus closing stock. However, that's the, not the only way you could get cost of sales. According to this information, you have average stock, you also have rate of, rate of stock time. So you need to remember, from rate of stock time, how do you get rate of stock time? So you get it somewhere, maybe say, rate of stock time is equal to cost of sales divided by average stock. So when you cross multiply, you find out that cost of sales is equal to rate of stock times times average stock. When you come and substitute the formula, so cost of sales will be rate of stock time, rate of stock time times average average stock. Remember, we have got this formula from rate of stock time, which is cost of sales over average stock. You have average stock, you also have rate of stock time. You don't have opening stock, that's why we have not used opening stock plus net purchases. We have net purchases, but we don't have even closing stock. So that would not be a suitable formula. We need to look for a suitable formula. So that's what we have chosen. Since we have rate of stock time, we get rate of stock time times average stock, we get cost of sales. We substitute in. So rate of stock time was given as six times. Remember, it is measured in times. Six. That is substitution. And with average stock, which was 120,000. That is average stock. So we have 120 times six. This is a zero. Six times two, four. Six times this, uh, six plus one, seven. So you have 721, 720,000 shillings. That is what? That is our cost for sales. That is our cost of what? Sales. Roman 3 is asking for, uh, it, it is asking for gross profit. Asking for gross profit. So remember gross profit. This information is got from the trading account where we get the gross profit, where we see selling price minus cost price. Selling price is the sales to sell turnover. Cost price is the cost of sales. So when someone has asked to calculate gross profit, that is simple. Have, have you got this and you also have this? So we just say uh, gross profit. Gross profit is equal to turnover, which is indicating the amount of money from the goods sold, minus cost of sale, cost of what? Sales, which is indicating the cost price. Cost of what? Sales. Substitute in. So we have. Turnover, we got 1,425,000, 25,000, minus cost of sales, uh, which is 720,000, 720, you just substitute in, our formula was gross profit is turnover minus cost of sales, you have your turnover of 1,425,000. Cost of sales, you have 720,000. So the difference gives you a gross profit. So we should have uh, 1,425,000 minus 720. You have a 5, a 0, 14 minus 7, you have a 7. So we have 705,000. 705,000 shillings. And try it out and make sure you get the correct value. So that is our gross profit. Do not forget the units. They are very important. 705,000 shillings. That is our gross profit. The next one was asking for margin. 
Those are supposed to be free marks. Hmm? Margin. So margin is equal to. Remember, I said margin is on sales or net sales, but say gross profit percentage. So we have gross profit over turnover, which is net sales. But if I use turnover, this is the one that is used in the question. Time was 100, not times 100 percent. Some of you put a symbol here. Hmm? So this symbol is you're expressing two figures in form of a percentage. So we are expressing gross profit as a percentage of turnover. So to we'll substitute here our gross profit, uh, our gross profit is 705,000. Divide by our turnover, which is 1 million, 425,000 times 100. So that's get, using the calculator, get the final answer. And then do not forget to write the leads in form of a percentage form. So basically, that was the number. You can just play around with this uh, simple arithmetic of business calculations in the business. Uh, in the trading account, they can ask you for simple things average store, net purchases, cost of sales, net sales, gross profit, margin, markup, rate of stock time. Remember, rate of stock time, you can play with this. So, rate of stock time will be cost of sales over average stock. However, if they ask for rate of stock time before selling, rate of stock time before selling will be average stock over cost of sales. Let me hope you got the difference. Rate of stock time before selling, average stock over cost of sales. Rate of stock time, cost of sales over average stock. I remain, St. John Henry, I teach you a bit of In case you have, you, you have any questions on this, you can call me on my number 0708 <coughs> Zero seven zero eight four six nine two four seven. Zero seven zero eight four six nine two four seven. Thank you so much.